Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin here, and today I've got the review for you of an app called TeamPlace, a cloud sharing platform that allows teams to easily collaborate and work through the cloud. It is optimized that way, and I think it is a great option for teamwork as I have used apps like Google Drive and Dropbox in the past, but really haven't found a way to easily share files and review revisions of a particular file with other people who I work with easily. Just as a disclaimer, this episode is sponsored by TeamPlace, but the opinions I will be expressing on this app are my honest thoughts. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start out by talking about who this app is for. This app is definitely geared towards businesses, creators, graphic designers, students, and those who plan to work out of a creative and collaborative workspace. If you're hoping to find something that just stores your files in the cloud, there are many alternatives. TeamPlace, hence its name though, has taken that concept and really enhanced it when it comes to working with other people. The key features that make TeamPlace great for collaboration are the ability to communicate from within the app in real-time chat, and the fact that it allows you to take a look at different revisions of a certain file instead of having the same thing with small changes under the same name but in multiples. Taking you through the team place menu, as you can see, you can create different team places, whether I have a graphics team, the JTAG Apple page, Photoshop elements, a school project. You're given 90 days to have unlimited storage with unlimited number of users and team places. From there, it allows you to invite team members via email from your contacts list or send them a link that allows them to sign up and join your team place. Of course, as a cloud storage platform, it does have the general features such as the ability to favorite your favorite files and view them all in the same page or sort them according to name, size, date, and alphabetical order. There's also a button that allows you to upload new files and create a new folder and very easily search for the file you were looking for at the top. Within the team place, you were also able to view the history, who created the file, whoever uploaded some new files to the page, and the comments that other team members have left on a particular photo. As you select the file, you will see that it does bring it up, and on the right side, there is a little chat window that allows you to see what other team members have commented within the photo. This is in real time, and instead of having to communicate with your team through iMessage, text message, Facebook Messenger, or Hangouts, while trying to access files and make revisions to something, for example, it allows you to do it all within this app seamlessly. The way that the app is laid out is really nice, very simple and easy to access everything you need, but I have to say there's just really nothing special to the appearance. In addition to that, I did notice an occasional stutter here and there when trying to complete my tasks, but nothing major. I also found that the files did take a little bit longer than it did with other platforms, which was tested on the same network, but it wasn't anything major to worry about. TeamPlace is universal and you are able to access it from your smartphone, your tablet, and your desktop computer. All major document formats are compatible and viewable. But now let's go ahead and shift over to the desktop version of TeamPlace. For the most part, everything remains very familiar with the exception to a more sophisticated interface and just a more developed form. I did find that the app version was better optimized as I did notice some stutters here and there when navigating through the web interface. From here though, you still have your typical menu including your favorites, my place where you store your own files, and of course team places where you also have a quick access to create a new team place but also view all of them in tab form within your sidebar. You still have the ability to live chat and do everything you are able to do on all platforms, so if you have team members on all different platforms, there is really no issue at all. The cross-platform and ecosystem compatibility is crucial when you're working in teams around the world. But I also wanted to show you in this video how TeamPlace has helped me out. My friend Sebastian does Photoshop work and he is kind of a creative assistant. If I ever need help with my thumbnails, any advice and any changes that I might want made, I usually go to him first. He is on Android and does own a Mac at home, but often trying to get files to him on the go is kind of a pain. By having to email multiple full res files, it often does not fit in between the 35 megabyte limit of emails. And in addition to that, if I'm trying to send something through Facebook messages, it does compress the image a lot. Another option is to use Google Drive, however there is compression on that end as well, and a lot of times the sharing doesn't really work out. But then again, we also have the last option to send the photos through iMessage, but in many cases he may not be home and does not have his Mac with him. When it comes to graphic design work though, feedback is what I'm looking for, and that is definitely the most important thing. 
I have to make the thumbnails myself first and really can't decide which one I like. So by using Team Place, it allows me to not only upload the files in one place in full res in order for edits to be made, but it also allows me to communicate to Sebastian within a particular file instead of having to use multiple platforms for the communication and the file sharing aspect. From Team Place, he's able to easily download the files in full resolution and make any necessary changes. And on my end, I'm able to view the different versions of a particular file. And if I like the new revision, I can download the latest version, and in the event that I don't prefer it, I can still go ahead and access the older version of the file. So as much as I like to use Google Drive for my personal files, Team Place is definitely something that I've been looking for but didn't know existed, as it just makes collaboration so much easier in every way. Like I mentioned, for 90 days it is completely free, so you are able to test out the full capability of Team Place and decide if it is right for you. You do not have to have any credit card on file like typical trials. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of Team Place, and if you would like to check it out for yourself, be sure to check the link in the description section below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.